What's up everybody? Welcome to Stormworks. So in this video we're going to be looking at some different ways that you can cool your modular engine. Um, I've got five different setups here. So we're going to look at them briefly. Um, starting with the one that failed first. So this one on the with the small heat exchanger and the radiator with no fan, that one caught on fire first. And then this one, no. and then this one caught on fire with just the little radiator. And then believe it or not, this one down here with the huge five by five heat exchanger and the huge radiator, that one was third. And then this one with just a three by three electric radiator. This one actually ran out of fuel before it got to 90 degrees Celsius, which is about 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So what I want to do is just kind of, I'll jump in the workbench and I'll show you how I put this together. It's very simple. So let's uh, take this in and I'll load that one up. So I went ahead and cut it down. I got rid of the other modular engines. Um, all this is, is I used the modular engine, um, water pump and it is default on one. So full clutch pressure straight out of the coolant manifold, which would be the B side. We just went straight into the radiator, no pump. We went out of the radiator into the inlet side of the pump and the outlet side of the pump goes into the A, A node on the manifold. So yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty simple. And like I said, it, it never got to 90 degrees. So I have that set up in a ship that I have spawned so we'll just go ahead and run over there and i'll show you so i think i have two six cylinder three by three modular engines in this ship and it never got warm using pretty much the same setup except for i used pumps i used these fluid pumps instead of the um the modular engine pump because obviously I ran a radiator per cylinder. Now there's going to be a lot of people that argue that you don't have to do that. I'm going to say right now that you do because I've been working on this boat for a couple months now trying to keep it cool. And this is the only way I could do that. One, one manifold per cylinder, one radiator. And it, uh, I took it to pull up the map here. Instead of going up towards the Arctic, I actually ran about 80 kilometers this direction where it's hot, and it never got above 76, I think, degrees Celsius. So, yeah, that, uh, if you got, if you're having cooling problems with your modular engine, I would recommend just running a radiator per cylinder. Um, the one by ones, I'm not real sure on. There's a spider on my hat. A little baby spider. So yeah. Let me run back over here to the workbench. Pull up my, um, oops, it's not what I wanted. Pull up my five engine so you guys can kind of look at how that was ran. This, I knew this one was going to fail. I was really surprised to see this one fail first because I used a heat exchanger with the radiator. Um, and then this one, I was very surprised that it was third. So, uh, and these were running 
60 RPS the whole time, all at the same time. And said this one never got above 90. It, uh, it ran out of fuel first. So anyway, I hope this video helps somebody. If it does, leave me a like. Um, you don't have to subscribe. You can if you want to. If you have any comments, go ahead and leave them below. And I will see you all in the next one.